Welcome to HCT RAW, Real Access Hale. My name is Michael Fox, Chief Operations Officer here at Hale Centre Theatre, and I'm excited to welcome you to one last episode of RAW. We've decided after five years and just over 100 videos, and almost a third of a million views online, and heck, even an international award, we're going to retire the series. So today is our last episode. We're gonna take a look at the dresses in Cinderella and the magic that makes them happen. Thanks for being big fans and we hope you like it. Okay, so Christy, we're putting on we're a putting dress. On the dress. The, 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 cloak. The, the dress she'll be in to finish. Yes. Okay. The cloak is already on her body. So the cloak's tied on. And it's okay. hooked onto this belt. And then what's the principle behind it? You put this one on. Is you put this one on, you pack it inside of the cloak. Mm -hmm. Then when she releases the cloak, the dress falls out from underneath the cloak and the cloak falls underneath the dress. So it goes inside out, if you will? Yes. I made the magic happen. So right I'm now the cloak is happens. under there. The cloak is under the dress. We're going to gather this, this skirt, skirt up. This is going to be pulled up on top of it. Okay, does it have to be have to done to in a certain way? Her dress. Okay. And we have to fluff. So you want it the way it will look when it's on the ground? Yep. And Michael, if you will grab the shoulder of this cloak. Okay. So the skirt's up under, the this cloak. started under, this started comes under. over. Comes over the top. And then how do you work it, Mac? What do you do? How do I work it? Well, I, the magic, I know. Um, <laughs> what do you have to do on stage to make this happen? So there's two clasps, two buttons, excuse me, here. I just have to make sure those are done. Do a big toss and turn. And it, it's a flip over your head? Mm -hmm. Okay. The hood yep. is up over the crown, mm -hmm. like so. Oops. So this is how I'm doing the first mm -hmm. part of the scene, just like this. Mm -hmm. When the magic musical cue happens, it's an unclasp. And flip. And flip. What's the most fun about the fairy godmother? Do you like flying more or the change? Because you get the first magical change. I don't know, I like the flying a lot. Being up on the moon, I get to see the audience, especially the kids, mm -hmm. and the looks on their faces. It's great. This for tries. lack of a better term, it's magical. Right? So. <laughs> Excellent, well thanks for being everyone's fairy godmother. You're welcome. Love it. So Amy, you're in your actual wig and you have to cover it. Mm -hmm. How does this reveal work? So, magically, I have magical bangs. Our little tiara pops up and down like this. I put it down like this and the lovely wig assistant does this. And, and it's just tied in the back. It's just tied in the back. And then you're gonna yes. rip it off and chuck it. I rip it off and I go bowling with it. <laughs> that is what I do, I bowl with it. Easy as that. This is Miss Kelsey Nichols, who uh, we've decided we're going to call the engineer of the dress. Us. Yeah, dress, really. dresses, both of Cinderella's magic dresses. Perfect. So, uh, unfortunately, Cinderella's dresses aren't really magic. We don't employ magic to make them happen. Instead, you built them. Yeah. So, you've got an array of things here. What yes. do they do? Well, um, for the first look in particular, uh, we have, you'll notice that there are three of these bodices. That's because they each get their own um, for the first part of the show because we don't want them to have to wear the magic one the entire time um, because it can fall apart. It doesn't, but it, it's tucked in a way that it, 
is meant to fall apart. So, so she has a stunt dress to start. She has a stunt dress to start and a stunt dress that she wears anytime she's in her peasant dress later in the show. And then we have one of each of those for um, our actors. And then we also have uh, some backups for these as well. In case something goes wrong getting her into it, we have another one we can grab and put her into it. Okay. Um, you'll notice the stunt dress has this piece attached. It's a separate piece for our magic dress. And then she has her base skirt that goes underneath all of it. For all of her looks, she has a lot of pieces <laughs> for each one. Okay, well, let's get her in it. Cool. Amy. Sweet. This is Amy Shreve Keeler, one of our Cinderella's. Yes been with us for quite some time. Mm -hmm. She's a star. <laughs> um, so the, my favorite thing is when you just said, uh, I don't know how it goes. I just stand there like this and I they put it on like me. This. <laughs> and they put it on my body. And every once in a while, somebody's holding my hands. So, so I'll hold fall. your hands okay, so you great. don't fall and we'll <laughs> let them put this dress on you. Okay. So Kelsey, you were saying we've got the base skirt on. Yes. The peasant skirt. Uh -huh. We have part of what's gonna be this, hiding the dress. Yeah, this kind of ends up being like a big pocket. That, that hides holds the white dress. In. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and then, so now that we've got this base part on, we have to put on her ball gown, the part that we're going to see on stage. Right. Okay. So, um, skirt goes with this. It's really quite funny to me to see the <laughs> this it's, and this and that. <laughs> right? It's entertaining to see all the layers. If and when you want another hand of help, tell me. Otherwise, I'll stand here and watch. Great. Okay, so this is her ball gown look. Now we have to start folding this up like a present. Okay. So then this. This, oh, is, this where is where you stand, like this. <laughs> uh, I'm going to grab this bodice first. Zippers from the 17th century, yep. a 17th yep. century yeah. zipper. We, we hide the zipper in the back because there is no time for lacing that in. Right. So <laughs> in this one, we have weights all the way around in the hem as well, so that when this comes out, it all falls. So you kind of want to pull it up and tuck it in, and then we're just kind of flattening it around her middle as best we can. Okay, so for a waistline, that's where you're actually folding fabric to get it the thinnest. Yes. And you're letting it bunch lower. Yes. Okay. Yep, because then this folds up around here. And um, this is where the extra hands Sure, what can I do? Come in handy. Just hold um, that now that it's there? Yep, we just need to sort of hold this all in okay. around her here. Got it. And this is where we get this poof that sort of um, matches her, what she wears in her regular peasant Sure. Um, now I'm assuming the regular peasant look, it wasn't a design to have the poof that you then copied for the magic dress. It's instead what you did for the magic dress and then you copied it for the stunt dress. Yes, yeah, we incorporated that specifically to help hide all of the skirts. Okay. Um, Michael, will you put one more hand right yep. here for me? Got it. Okay, so then the bodice is gonna hold all of these pieces down. Ah, so the top is holding. Mm -hmm. It's packing everything in and holding it all against her. Um, underneath on these, if you look at her other dress, it has these little tabs that look like it's holding it up to bustle it. It's also helping to give it that shape and to hold all of that extra fabric inside mm, of there. And okay. there are buttons underneath the edge here that that buttons to. Um, these are also what's going to grab the bodice as it falls away from her. So as for those who don't understand a bodice, this, the top this piece, piece. This it's going top to actually piece? drag it down, make sure it doesn't yep. go halfway. Um, and we don't want anything left on the stage. So these guys also keep the bodice as it, when it comes apart on her body. So she can unfold that entire dress and not walk away with a pile of clothes laying around right. her. The dress really is a breakaway. 
Yes. The bodice is all tied together with fishing wire. Uh-huh. And she's going to pull some tabs yep. that These little guys release the fishing here. wire. Yep, and it, it removes that fishing wire from the seams, okay. which is there's a little channel that it goes through, and that's the only thing that's holding those pieces together. It's sort of creating a false seam. Okay. So as soon as you remove those fishing lines, there's nothing keeping the pieces together, and they're weighted as well um, and lined with satin so it slips away from the dress underneath. So when that falls, it's caught by these, and it hangs down around her waist here. And, and it back. releases... Mm -hmm. And the it top releases because our... everything's just packed inside there. So it releases everything that we've packed in, and this unfolds and releases all of that. Out of its pocket. Mm -hmm. Out of its pocket. So everything can unfurl and cover all of this underneath. So what's under there now? So at this point, this is all hiding the, and this is weighted as well. So there's there's weights in this guy. Um, you hold that guy mm -hmm. for me. Um, this is that thing that we created the pockets with um, that was holding all of this up. So that's under there. And then that then is hiding the, wire. the bodice that's been the attached Heidi to bodice. these. This is the first time I've seen this too. <laughs> these are our fishing lines that hold it together that are attached to their strings. So, and then everything else is the same we saw before. Um, and it was important that this be attached at the waist and not on this. Otherwise it would have fallen too low and gotten under her feet. And as mm. it is, the fishing line are still you like, can sometimes they can see only just a little be bit. a certain length or it's too long for her to pull and it's too far on the floor. Ah, oh, that makes sense. So, so it wouldn't unravel mm -hmm. and it would drag. Yeah, we also went through a couple iterations with the crown because they, we originally wanted to attach the crown or the, uh, the hair net with fishing line as well. But the length was too long at any given point from her waist. It would have ended up under her feet. Mm. So that's why we had to end up doing so the So you do the toss. Like well, thanks for making the magic. Because yeah. I, I think this is <laughs> easily one of the coolest things we've had happen on stage. And this is definitely one of my all-time favorite projects that I've probably done ever. So it's been great to sort of take the knowledge that I already had and apply it to a real situation. Great. Thank you, Kelsey. Thanks, Amy. Yeah, thanks, thanks to Matt. Thank you. We'll see you.